good. Huh, man. Boy. What a day. I still can't believe our bell died. Not only do we share the same last name, but yeah. Some of synchronicities. He spent, he grew up around Pittsburgh, like I did, like we did, Moon Township. He grew up somewhere else. Probably related. Fred, Fred, Fred Bell is related to Alexander Graham Bell. Dr. Fred Bell, who I met at the uh, Whole Life Expo in L.A. Same day I met Tim McKenna and uh, Benjamin Cream, John Lilly, Tim Leary, as ever, Jim Zebro, who went in with Angie. But, um, our Bell, geez. I can't believe it. One of the most important people on earth. Art. The art of a talk. I found out about art when I was on the USF, USS McKee as a uh, billboard before the O.J. Simpson trial back in 1993. McKee was at, at sea there's a barge set with about the noise. Jeez. With a bunch of computers. Places where right, about 15 or 20 of us could work. Different divisions. And I was in the R's office, so myself and somebody else stayed behind. You know, we had to do work. But in, in the computer, we, we kept track of all the people working hours. County reliability, ours office, A-R-R-S. Not, not like LSC on the Midway or the existing support center. And the mid, on the end, it was maintenance support center, MSC. And then uh, the key, it was in the ours office. So anyhow, the bulletin board, that, a billboard that said uh, the O.J. Simpson trial, listen to it live on Kogo at AM, 600 AM. So I had a, I drove to sub, to sub, sub base, Port Loma and San Diego <laughs> from 1539 Ken Allen Drive my Volvo, there's a sign that said, listen to the OJ Simpson trial on Kogo AM, 600 Kogo. So I tuned in, parked my Volvo, said wash, eight, I had the uh, 8 to midnight wash, yeah. 2000 to midnight. So I got off about midnight, hopped in my Volvo, I was able to go home, and there's our bell. Our bell. I was like, who is this? I'd never heard before. I heard his name before, but I'd never listened to our bell before. That was the first time I ever listened to our bell. So 1993. Sure can't believe he died. He died on February the on Friday the thirteenth, April thirteenth, two thousand eighteen. About twenty years ago in San Diego, they were talking about uh, back in nineteen ninety seven. They were saying that uh, people had a vision of him. Helping guide people through the pull shift, coming earth changes, and all this stuff. But he died. The 
what I'm seeing is going to happen. You have heaven on earth. Probably be able to come back to life. Probably, we don't ever really die, do we? There's eternity and divinity. You know, the art, the art of talk, art bell. <laughs> And uh, I was watching Lord of the Ring, The Fellowship of the Ring. Wouldn't mind watching this. That's the first one of the trilogy. Wouldn't mind watching the second. I read The Hobbit. I started, I read this. I never finished the trilogy because I went to Kent State. And I started reading uh, the teaching of Don Juan. I never finished the trilogy. I, I read The Hobbit when, when I was in 10th grade. I did a book report. And I read it again. When I graduated high school, I was sleeping in Terry's bedroom. There's a Pink Floyd. Watching The Tonight Show and The Tomorrow Show with Tom Snyder. And that kind of stuff. I was able to stay up late. That's before I went to Kent State. I was work, working at the Red Red Wings at the airport. I get about eleven o'clock in the morning. Go to work. Go to the coffee. The the, the uh, employee uh, break room. I love the coffee shop. Get a quick bite. Go upstairs to the Red Wings on the third floor change my clothes, and then have a lunch about 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock we have to work. We're off work. I go down to the arcade and walk around the airport. And then I worked about 9 o'clock. No, we shut the place down in the summertime when I was there. Yeah, once I graduated high school, I worked from like 11 o'clock to 10 o'clock at night. I ate tips. I worked about Ten hours a day, yeah. Probably eleven hours a day. That's, that's one of the best jobs I ever had because that a union. That's how I got contacts. That's how I, I. That's how I got my first pair of right wire rim glasses. Had my Pete Thick cut my hair. Had contacts. I I bought. I bought the contest. Three hundred bucks. And I had the union. The restaurant and food service. Gladio Food Service. At the old airport. Rare Pittsburgh Airport. In Moon Township. Yep. I saw them. They got it. Go to Walmart or somewhere to get my phone fixed. It's in my bag, my case, and my sim, my, this, my sim card. I just take it out because it, I can't get past that. I can't get. I can't start it. Must a puck card code again. A PUK code. I have no idea how to do it. I can't get past that. I can do this. But I can I can't uh, make any phone calls or texts. I can't believe this is filmed in, in New Zealand. I think some of the seas look like, like it's from the Amazon. The rivers and the trees, huge huge trees. I don't think the CGI like banyan trees. Like, I'm lost there. I, I was like, where was this filmed at? Philodendrons and all kinds of exotic tropical plants that I'd pay a fortune for. Uh, elfin ears. Jeez. Uh, things I paid for. It was fun. I kept, kept my, every, every year I keep them alive. Brett and Chad's help. Eutropus, canis, alphanures, 
I keep inside of the winter barely enough moisture to keep me alive. A little bit of nutrients. Kind of put in my hibernation. It starts to warm up, start slowly adding more water and nutrients. Bring my hibernation. Then you put it outside a little bit at a time. So you don't shock them. You gotta wait for the soil temperature to warm up. I found my soil thermometer somewhere. I'll be free of where it's at. I have two of them. I have two of them. One guy bent and one still straight. When the soil got to a certain temperature in May, I started planting. I gotta remember how I did stuff. Mulch, carpet, rubber, leaves, and sawdust, and, and hay, or straw, straw, leaves, oak trees, oak, oak leaves take about two years to decompose, pine needles take about five or ten years to decompose, but maple trees, maple leaves, de 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 decompose in a month or two. You can put a, about a foot of, of maple leaves on it. The surface in the fall by spring got four or five inches of, of black muck going down into the soil. Not only did they are the leaves decomposing, but the earthworms are taking them down. You don't see any earthworms around here. I haven't seen earthworms since high school. Wow. <clears throat> wow. It's like the soul's buried. Lots of bugs, lots of cockroaches, and earwigs, and silver fish, and geez, crickets, that kind of stuff. But now the bugs are coming out because it's getting warmer and warmer and warmer. When I first moved in here, geez, grubby nuts. They, the carpet's clean. But they just did the surface. You know, I thought they changed the carpet. That's some old crappy old carpet that was here before. They, just, they took the surface stuff off. All the stuff comes out of the bottom. That's a clean carpet. That's the last thing I did before I joined the Navy. i never forget finishing. I, I cleaned Grandpa Minium's carpet. I was so dirty all those years of the fireplace. It was like, oh, they had no water hardly at all. That was not easy. Clean that carpet. And mom and grandpa sold the house when I was in boot camp. They died about a year later down in Saratoga. Okay. So many things. I live there with them. Hey, dear. Lee dear, want a snack? <laughs> Lee dear, Grandma. Snack time, Lee. I break down, I'm studying. <clears throat> Kent State, I study every night. I was, when, I, when I went to college, I was a good college student. I was, I was taking classes that I wanted to take. So I read every night. My textbooks, anthropology, Chemistry, Biology, Psychology, 101, Child, child Psychology, I've learned a lot living there. Remember, I'm still agonizing over the break of me and Marie, Marie, Marie Wong. Just cry. Marie, Marie and I should have been married. All the girls I've ever met in my life. She's the number one. Marie. Marie Wong Nace. Now she lives in Nevada. Last time I saw her was 1991 or two. 
I saw the day I signed the, the divorce paper, so that was 1989. Then when I, I came back from Japan, that's right. I came back from Japan, I said, leave. I went up to Nawato, I stayed with him for a week. Murray Wong. She has just gotten married. Come, th I just met her husband. That's right, Nace or Nash or Nate. His last name is Nace, I think. Probably Chinese. Her so different now. Back in high school, she had long hair. She's good in ping pong. I think it's just she was on the girls' tennis team. And she was in the band, I think, clarinet, the marching band. I think she played clarinet. For the glory of Moon High, Moon Tigers. <laughs> what if, if the football's still still there? Junior high school. Bull, a ship, model rockets <laughs> down there in the old uh, baseball field. I think that's where the new high school is now. If I remember right, Charlie told me that they tore down the old junior high school. Yeah, I can't imagine that being there. Huh? That used to be the high school. <laughs> Back in the day, I think Carnot was a high school. Oh. I was getting warm. It was freezing a while ago. It's the sun. Beasting this wind was out of the building this time of day. Yep, Art Bell. I think a long time ago that. It's like John Lennon. I, I could read for months. That started long. I had a box full of clippings and stuff. I was going to make a collage, take a pause, whatever you're going to call it. This is John Lennon. I'm still messed up with that. Mark David Chapman, the way he killed him for no reason. He's coming back, starting over. Yoko, Sean, Julian. That's why it's going to be Elon Musk. Next wave is going to be Elon Musk, Andrew Bisaga, Art Bell, Andrew Bisaga, Elon Musk, Time Wave Zero, Terrence McKenna, Time Wave Zero. How the hell are you? Yeah, no. Jeez. Freezing a while ago, not hot. This sun. Jeez, this time of day. I feel like it's hotter and hotter and hotter.
afraid to take my phone apart again because it might fuck it up. <laughs> you know, no case, no SIM card. I got. It. Can somebody call me a cab so I can go to Walmart or shuttle? Maybe, maybe that's the best way to do it. Have somebody else call it. Cause that, that, uh, that Richard guy's gone. Robert's still here, I think. Everybody's gone. And I was so, so glad because no more dog going, <laughs> that dog drove me nuts. His, yeah, beautiful cat. A beautiful, beautiful cat. Black cat. We come in here once in a while. He got hit by a car. Rough front. He, that's what he told me. Then he got a dog at, at the pound. A, a mutt. A brown mutt. Every time I open the door, take the trash out, check the mail. Like, come shut up. Jeez. When you can find a dog or a cat or a dog, a male or a dog, to a small place like this, and they get neurotic. They gotta be able to go outside and play and run, not be cooped up in a little place forever. That's why they bark. People gotta understand that. You gotta become a dog. You gotta know how dogs act. Like Buddha. Buddha, once he was confined at grandma, at grandpa Miriam's house, at dad's house, I came back and got him. He was, he was never the same. He was always tied up outside. I never did that. Like Wolfgang. Then he got antsy. Then he ran outside at Mark's house, got hit by a car, and I hit him down the road and died. Buddha, back in April 1990, 1981, I got him past the junction, ASU. Got yeah, Buddha at ASU, Student Center, Bulletin Board, three cockapoos, five males, four males and a female. Call this number. I called the number. I was the first person there. They brought a box and showed it to me the guy and a girl. And they're all sleeping except for one. I was sitting on his butt looking at me. I looked in there and said, I'll take him. I picked him up and I said, You're Buddha. You're Buddha. Look at the couple. They're like, you want them? You can have them. So yeah, I want them. <laughs> I hopped in the Nova. Jumped down in the seat beside me. He crawled up my arm and slept on my back. To my trailer at Apache Junction. It was so small he couldn't even climb a curb. <laughs> it was it was seven weeks old. That was January 1990, uh, 1977. So probably born in De uh, December of '76. Right, going to Kent State. So he was probably born then. Probably the end of the, about, about Thanksgiving, 1976. By uh, the time I got him, is Late January 1977. He was seven or eight weeks old. Just weaning. I mean, he was six inches long. Can't even climb a curb. Can't even climb a curb. Imagine being that small. Buddha. B U D D A. Not to be confused with Siddhartha. Ratama, the Buddha, B U D D H A, Kamakura, the Great Buddha, Kamakura, Japan, Great Buddha.
Zarathustra, Kamakura, Sydney, Australia, Mombasa, Kenya, Pattaya Beach, Thailand, Singapore, Hong Kong, Bangkok, South Korea, Philippines, Hong Kong, Japan, Sasebo, Tokyo, Yokohama, Narita, Asugi, Mount Fuji, <laughs> never been there. I can see it, but I've never been there. Uh, where else? Pearl Harbor, Sydney, Australia. Anchorage, Alaska. <clears throat> you see. Molly, Hawaii, Honolulu. I didn't like Honolulu. It was expensive, but uh, nice beach. I like to go out, you know, blue owls and places that cliff diving and ponds and African cichlids and koi, that kind of thing. Beautiful. Be absolutely beautiful. But my favorite place at all was probably Singapore. Singapore was clean and modern. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Uh, that was during desert. That was on the U.S. at Independence. That was about the only place we went to. Singapore. <laughs> I'm so lucky. It took me a couple of days to get our pal. So tonight I'm going to listen to Summer in Time. Kogo, AM, Art Radio, I Heart Radio, or 11.30 AM, Twin Cities, St. Paul, Minnesota, Minneapolis, St. Paul, I, I, I Heart Radio. Thank God for IR Radio and Wi Fi. Yeah, have Wi Fi. I need to clean my phone out. It's getting dirty. Wow. That's well. Oh, this is. Look at that. Oh, 20 minutes. Jeez. Yeah. Is broken. My battery blew up. I don't know why anything else happened to it. Barely taken apart. Might have to buy a new phone. That's broken. I can see it. I can see it. Oh. This is for you, Art. Thank you. 25 years of memories. 1993, 
big part, very important part. Our bell. Thanks for the memories. Our Mona, Aaron, 